Hello, my name is Sean Pashley. I am Vice President of Partner Success here at Everwash. Welcome to the September Advanced Sales Tactics webinar. The point of this webinar is to really dive deep into the brain of the consumer, dive deep into how to increase your sales and give you the tools in your tool belt to make you successful. Today, we are joined with a great guest that we'll get into momentarily. Um, I'm really excited about this. This guest and I go way back, uh, and he taught me a lot and had a lot to do with a lot of the things that I do still today, so I really think we've got um, some excitement ahead. That being said, let's get into it. Um, what does success look like? When I knew we'd have the opportunity to have this special guest on, I thought it ties in well with what success looks like, right? Uh, an early adopter of membership in the industry when it wasn't the cool hip thing that everyone knew they had to do, when it wasn't an easy decision, this person was instrumental in creating success and showing what success can look like in this industry. So that's what we're gonna go into today. Uh, and if you hang with me, I think you're gonna enjoy it. We'll be here for less than a half hour. As always, we will open it up to questions at the end. If you're watching this afterwards and you have questions, you can always reach out to me, Sean at Everwash.com. That is S-E-A-N at Everwash.com. Uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, or uh, just want to chat a little bit. That being said, I'd like to welcome uh, Richard DiGennaro. Richard is the Director of Customer Sur uh, Success at OmniX and an Operation Manager, formerly of Rio Car Wash Group. Rich, welcome. Hello, Sean. How are you? I am proof that dreams come true, sir. No uh, doubt about that. Um, Richard, yeah. thanks for joining us. Uh, sorry to kick off, but I do want to thank you. Obviously, I still use a lot of your tutelage today uh, in our training materials and the uh, Everwash uh, training success here. So thank you for that, and thanks for joining us. You're welcome. I, I You know, um, when you asked me to do this uh, a few weeks back and many other times, um, I was so excited because this just takes me back to my roots, where I got started in this uh, industry when I was the operation manager for Rio Car Wash. Um, it takes me way back to, you know, 2017. Um, 2017, we thought we had the tiger by the tails. I mean, we were crushing it with membership. So we thought. I mean, we had high volume car washes. And when we were talking to our friends and we were telling them how many members we had, they looked at us and they said, that's it? I mean, we had 7,000 members at that time. I mean, we were making great money. And, you know, it wasn't until we were talking to our friends and they were pointing out some, you know, facts that we weren't really looking at that really made us look at our membership a whole different way. I mean, we were looking at membership like, that, you know, our unique customer base, if we could hit 10%, we'll be doing great. And we were until we were told, no, 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 no. You need to hit 40%. 40%? Our highest volume store, that's 10,000 members. We're never going to get to 10,000 members at a location. That's just impossible. Well, we looked into it. We found out it's not impossible. So what was the formula? Okay. Well, you know, we talked to a lot of people. Uh, we met with a lot of people. And, uh, you know, we learned, number one, that we're selling clean. So we better be clean also. Okay. So we looked at our sites. We looked at our employees. And we thought, hey, we got this one down. There's no problem here. We're, we got this one. We're good to go. Until someone said, no, 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 write it down on a piece of paper, you know, to create that site assessment, you know, what your expectation for your location should be. No biggie. We wrote it down. And we took the test. First test, we failed miserably. I think we scored a 55 out of 100 because it wasn't a simple, it wasn't a maybe answer. I mean, it was a direct yes or no, you know? Was it employee in uniform? Well, he's in uniform, but the shirt's awfully dirty. You know, when you look at it that way, well, you know, there's only that one little weed over there. What's the big deal? Okay. It's when you did that. So that was number one. I mean, 
when, you know, we gave it to our managers and said, you know, we're going to make, you know, a bulk of your uh, uh, bonus on this evaluation, they took it serious. And then what they had to do is they had to get, get their team to take it serious. They shared that bonus with their, with their team because they wanted to achieve success. Okay. So that was the first part of our formula that we realized, Hey, we're going to sell clean. We better be giving clean. Okay. So we got the sites clean. We got the employees looking great. So then next step was, um, was knowledge. Okay. We wanted to make sure that everyone understood what success sounded like. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. I know that off by heart, not because I want to. Okay. It's because Oscar Meyer made it their point to tell me that jingle over and over and over again. Never straying. It was always the same story moving forward. So that's what we created with our script. Welcome to the car wash. Which wash are you getting today? Did you know you can get your wash way cheaper with this? For less than the price of two car washes, you can wash your vehicle every single month. It's a lot faster when you pull up. All you have to do is scan a cute car code on your phone, and you go right through the car wash. So you have eight seconds to communicate something to a customer. And that's what's so important to ensure that you're not, your presentation that you're giving to them is consistent, okay? And you're creating that conversation. Never want to answer that closed-ended question. Hey, do you know about our membership? No. Yes. It's not creating a conversation. When we're asking the customer, hey, which wash are you getting? They have to give us an answer, okay? At the end of our pitch, we be quiet. Why? Because we want them to answer, ask a question, okay? So what are they gonna ask? Well, I see your card there, what's that rain -X? Um, Some kind of special protection we put on your car? Wrong. This is once again, we want the employees to be educated. It's a specialized formula that adds complete service protection. That's the answer they're gonna hear every time, okay? Customer comes back, what, is, what does it do? Cures the entire service of the vehicle. Provides water repellency. Creates the ultimate layer of protection against the element and lasts for up to 30 days. Every single one of our employees that was at the pay station, they knew this off by heart. Every single one of our people that were at the pay stations always said, I could never sell. I could never do this. I can't talk to people. Yeah, you can. If you're out there saying what I'm telling you to say, you don't have to think for yourself. That's what's the beauty of this is I'm telling you exactly what to say. I'm, te I'm teaching you that if you say it this way, you will succeed every single time. And once employees saw that, they stuck to the script. When somebody came out, somebody got hired new, and they didn't speak this the script the right way because they knew better. They were the ultimate salesperson. No, no, everybody put them in place because they knew that if you were doing something wrong, it was going to look bad on the site assessment. Bad on the site assessment means bad on my pocketbook. So guess what? You better stop it and do it the right way because I am not taking money out of my pocket. So those two were the first two steps. Third step, did they have the right tools? Okay. Did they have the right rack cards? I made sure that they always had enough rack cards. They had their information on the rack cards because I wanted them to succeed because if the customer had something to take with them, then they were always thinking about what you had to say because they had this in their back pocket every single time. I know at the time we didn't have a product called On X, but I gotta bring it up because of course that's what I'm doing right now. If by any chance you do have OmniX at your locations, that is a huge bolster for you and your location. Why? Well, OmniX has a product. It's called Sales Navigation. So when a customer pulls up onto your property, okay, we look at the license plate, and we know if this is a first-time customer or is this a repeat customer. 
Okay, and if it's a repeat customer, you're gonna get a notification. Where? Right on your watch, smartwatch, or your phone. Doesn't make a difference. We're gonna let you know. So now, when you go to that customer, you have a specialized pitch. Yes, you heard me say there's only one pitch. Well, when you only have one way to talk to a customer, you're only gonna have one pitch. But if you now know this is a first time customer, or you now know this is a repeat customer, walking up to that customer and being able to say, welcome back. I see this is your second visit this month. Did you know that today's wash would have been free? Come on, that's how you sell to a customer, right? So having the right tools, making sure pay stations are working correctly, making sure you had enough handouts to give it to your customers and making sure that everything from the front to back is working is huge because without the right tools, you're going to fail. Tools, knowledge, experience. Well, lastly, are you measuring success? Okay, that was one item that we weren't that we weren't really doing. I mean, we demanded, so to speak, that you go out and you sell ten today. Well, we didn't care, or we didn't understand that maybe. They didn't have 10 people to sell to because, you know, our membership was starting to grow to a certain location, to a certain level. That's when we realized that we had to come up with a new way to measure success. How do we measure them sex? Closing percentage. You take out the members, you have everybody left, and you sell to those. So now we set a, a, a sales goal of 10% close ratio. And now all they had to do was sell to one out of 10, two out of 20, five out of 50, 10 out of 100. I mean, once you put it in those terms, everybody's, you know, anxiety of selling and saying that I have to sell 10 today. I mean, that anxiety just floats away because now, you know, the realization is that, you know, I only have to sell one out of 10. That's not a big deal. And then once they got good enough, of course, we bumped it up to 15. Uh, and then, of course, I started getting really good at that. And then, you know, uh, we had to bump it up to 18 because, wow. you know, our our best salesperson people, they were selling at 20 to 25 percent on a regular basis. OK, because they understood they stuck to the plan. They talked to every single customer that came through. And they were the big proponent of celebrating success. All the locations knew what was going on at every single location. OK. So celebrating success was no problem, okay? Uh, once somebody sold one, let the rest of the team know, and the rest of the team, it was a celebration. Because, you know, hearing no a lot is tough, okay? Sure is. Even for the best of us, you know, hearing no nine times out of 10 can be really disheartening. But when you can celebrate success, that's where it becomes an exciting job. I mean, being out at the pay stations it was what, probably some of the best times I had working at Rio Car Wash. Learning customers' names that came through the car wash because they came through all the time was fantastic, okay? Made me feel like part of a family and made those customers feel like part of a family. At the end, in uh, close to, you know, when I was leaving Rio Car Wash in 2019, we achieved that 40% at one of our locations. Okay, our highest volume location had 10,000 members. When I left Rio Car Wash, it was 2019, we had 36,000 members between our locations. At that time, uh, Everwash only had 90,000 members at, their, uh, at Everwash. So that's why Everwash was excited for me to join uh, them because um, you know, I knew membership, I enjoyed membership, and I bled membership through and through. Um, in 2020, Rio Car Wash sold to Go, uh, the Car Wash chain Go. When they sold to Go, they had uh, seven locations, and they had over 52,000 members wow. between their locations because they stuck to the plan. Mm -hmm. They never deviated from the plan. They saw something, it worked great. They stuck to it and everybody at the location bought into it. Everybody understood that the sites needed to look great. Everybody understood that attending classes to learn how to sell better was in their benefit. 
We always made sure they had the right tools for success and measurement was the key to that success. Uh, Sean, thank you very much for this time. Um, I really love talking membership, as you can tell. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes I miss it. Right. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it, Rich. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, the one question that I'll leave you with, obviously, there's so many great things. But what I think about a lot during your presentation was, and you sort of touched on it, you have the people who are like, I don't need a script. I'm a sales guru. Uh, and they walk up, but it makes me, it reminds me of, we all see the, the batter go up to the plate in major league baseball. And they have this elaborate routine that they do, right? That routine is to lock them in to what they're doing, right? It's to get, it's to, it's to focus on the routine instead of all the other minutiae, right? So they go in prepared with that same routine every single time. These are high level players hitting the fastball is probably the hardest thing in the world right? One of them, you can argue. But they go into that prepared because they're ready to do the same thing. They are, they prepare themselves the same way every single time. And that's why the pitch is so important, right? Getting in there every time with a consistent pitch and delivering it um, the way you said, it, it's really important. And then the one question I would have for you, Rich, is with all your success, there's always that component, as you know, when we are, uh, training attendance at some car wash in some part of the country uh, and a place as well. I've got other stuff to do. How do I balance selling membership with my regular everyday duties? And what's your answer to that, Rich? That's a great question because um, I mean, that was what everybody always said that, you know, Hey, I mean, I got to do this, that, everything else. How do I, um, you know, deal with it? Um, uh, bottom line, uh, a customer should always never be waiting for you. You should be waiting for a customer. That's the firm rule I to told everybody. Um, never let a customer be waiting for you. If you got to do something, go ahead and do it. But you make sure that you're back there waiting on a customer before they come through. It's, it's a tough balancing act, but everyone finds a way when they see that success is going to happen if I do it the right way. Great. And that's what we're going to go into uh, after you part, after we part ways with you, Richard. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for all this. Really enlightening. The, the way that it just comes out of your mind, you know, we, I'm sure that we, you haven't gone this deep into that for some time, but it's still muscle memory to you, right? Training um, the people that you wanted to have the muscle memory and the verbal memory just comes right back uh, because you've practiced it and studied it so much. Rich, exactly. thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank Hope you, sure. Sean. We'll talk again soon. All right, All right, buddy. Cheers. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. So that was awesome. Um, really appreciate Richard joining us. Uh, we really touched on a lot of the things that I want to get into here in this last 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, talking about what success looks like. Richard talked about how they thought that 7,000 members uh, is what success looked like. Um, it's like that, the one minute mile, um, you know, maybe you've seen that movie. Um, I don't recall the name of it, but there, it was this, the one minute mile was always thought that you couldn't break six minutes or something, um, you know, back, uh, you know, uh, years ago, but the first person did it right. Broke that six minute or five minute or four minute barrier now that they can do. Um, and then once that first person broke the barrier, if it was six minutes or whatever, everybody started breaking. Now it's at like four minutes or something. I could be totally wrong with the minutes, but it just, somebody had to show them that it was possible. Everybody thought a six minute mile wasn't possible. And the first person did it. Now it's regularly done. It's sort of an end of the game, right? Um, they thought 7,000 members were successful and it took someone else to say, good for you guys. That's nice. Pat on the head, but you're leaving a lot of money on the table, right? You're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. So, uh, let's talk about the calculation. Rich uh, sort of hit on it. You should sell at least 10% of all pitchable cars. What is a pitchable car? A car is a, a simply a car that's not already a member. So you have 100 cars come in. 50 of them were members, right? You would if you if you told me if someone told you, hey, we have 50% membership. Man, we're pretty tapped out. I would tell you that if you had 100 cars come in today and only 50 of them were members, still the opportunity to sell at least five, right? Because you just sell one out of every 10. 
That's minimal. That is BME, bare minimum expectation. Uh, 20 is really, 15 to 20, as Richard said, is really where we want to live. We have the Ignite program, which is where we hire professional salespeople to go out and uh, sell. They're averaging 20 to 30. Now, yeah, I mean, they're dedicated solely to selling. But what we were getting to, and I think what Rich was getting to, what I'm getting to later here in this presentation is muscle memory. If you make it automatic, it becomes easier. What if I told you that you needed to, um, you know, sing two lines of a song and spin in three circles before you walked up to every single car? You would make that part of your day. It would be very silly, but you would make it part of your day. And by, you know, two weeks from now, you won't even remember that you didn't do it before, right? So you'd be surprised at how easy it is to introduce something into your day, right? Think about it. If, if you're at a car wash that's just beginning to sell membership, and you guys sell membership for a year, bring on 2,000 members, and you hire someone a year from now, they're not going to know that there wasn't a time with membership. It's just going to be part of their day. So when you make it part of your day, when you commit to making it part of your day and committing it to muscle memory like that baseball player walking up to the plate, I think you're also going to have great success. So 10%, if you're having a terrible day, you got a flat tire, had an argument with your significant other and spilled coffee in your lap and you just tell everyone, you're going to sell 10%. So, um, you know, that should be your bare minimum. Balance. This brings into balance, you know, sort of everyone's big concern, concern. How do I balance my regular job and my regular duties with selling membership? Selling membership, the pitch is going to be about the same time you'd already spoken to someone. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Great. Which car wash would you like? Uh, I don't know. I get a, which one do I get? Right. The time with all those members where you can just walk up and say, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Scan. Good to see you. Scan. All that time you save, you now have the extra 10 to 20 seconds to talk to each additional car. Right. The more members you get, the more time you spend on the front end, 45 seconds converting a person to a member. You save all that money every all that time, rather, every time they come back. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Scan. Move on. Hi, how are you, Scan? Think of all the time you save when 50% of your cars don't have to come up to you and go. And when you ask them, hey, which car watch would you like? Um, I don't know. You were here last time. I think I got the one on this foam came on the window and it was different color. Which one was that? I think it got my wheels. Right? Instead of all that, it's, hey, how are you? Scan. On to the next person. So let's talk about balance. How do we balance selling and executing our regular duties at the car wash? Just practice, practice. It makes perfect. This old adage is exactly correct. Practice makes perfect. It's it's quite simple, right? You just got to practice it, make it muscle memory, make it part of your day, and it'll be like it always was, right? It needs to become second nature. It will become second nature if you commit to doing it every single time. You won't even realize you're doing it. It's like the first time you drove home from the car wash you're working at, Right? You, you might have had to use Waze or Google Maps. Now it's just second nature. You could be on the phone, you know, of course not on the phone, on the phone through your Bluetooth, uh, talking to your significant other about the pizza you're going to go get, thinking about, you know, the birthday party you're going to tomorrow and a million things. You didn't think about your way home. It's second nature to you. You do it five times a week, 10 times a week. This will become the same way. You practice and commit to selling so much that you've gone through the rigmarole. You've gone through the issues and the potential potholes. It's all become second nature to you at this point. And competence equals confidence. You've got to be competent. You've got to run into the issues. There are going to be issues where you sell somebody and um, they don't know their Apple ID. You know, an older, maybe an older uh, customer who doesn't know their Apple ID. Well, I'll tell you what. You know that you're set here. You are taken care of. You're paid for the first month. You know where we are. You're going to be able to wash your car, no problem. Just call these guys when you get home and you figure out what your Apple ID is. They'll help you. Just knowing these little things and being able to take care of it, having those things in your day, knowing that you can depend on Everwash and our 24-7 support center to take care of you, okay? Uh, other things you learn along the way, um, things you should say, things you shouldn't say that you learn only through doing. And then getting over the hump is really when you put it all together, when it becomes a part of your day, like the first time that you were going to be left alone at the car wash, you know, you had to learn to prep the cars or you had to learn to change the chemicals. And that first time when you were going to be left there alone, you were like, oh boy, this is something, right? Something that mundane we're concerned because we don't know it yet. So 
getting over the hump only comes after you leave yourself time to do it. You put in the practice, you make it second nature, you become competent. And that muscle memory all comes together with, with confidence and you get over the hump. Okay. What are the realistic hurdles? What are the issues that we could run into as I use my hands dramatically? What are the realistic hurdles that we're going to run into? It's, it's technology, right? Um, so what do those things mean? Wi-Fi versus cellular and the burps and these things that happen. Maybe there's a low Wi-Fi at your car wash, but people are hooking up to the Wi-Fi when they're trying to sign up or um, use their app. Oh, hey, can you do me a favor? Maybe just close down your uh, Wi-Fi so we get on your cellular and it's not trying to get back and forth. Right? These are things you can learn if you put in the time and you find out this is wrong, you call us, we help you learn that that was wrong. So the technology is the technology. You learn it. It's pretty simple. If it's not simple, you've got to call us. That means there's something wrong. I can tell you if it seems wrong, it is. Because this should be really simple, ladies and gentlemen. Time. How do I fit the time? Well, the time becomes pretty easy when you become well-versed and you make it second nature, right? The difference between, hey, how are you? Which wash would you like? And hey, how are you doing today? Nice to see you. Which wash would you like? Oh, did you know? Great choice. Do you know for less than the cost of two of those, you can wash your car with that package every day for an entire month? Not just this month, but until October 13th. Cool, right? Should I get you started? Awesome. Let's finish this up real quick. Boom, I just sent you a text message. You're all set. Have a great day. 45 seconds, max. It takes people longer than to wash inside the tunnel, even if it's a fast tunnel. But if, it's a, if you have a pay station, it's going to be longer than that. Approaching everyone. Just understanding that you've got to approach everyone. It's, you know, that person who looks a little intimidating, maybe looks like they're having a bad day. Maybe they are, and they don't want you there. Maybe they are having a bad day. You come up to them with a smile. It is hard to stay in a bad mood when someone around you is smiling, right? Maybe you make their day better. Maybe they say, no, thanks. I just want you to wash my car, please. And you get them on their way to starting to get out of their funk. Yeah, it's having a truly bad day. And the, if you're having a bad day and you go to wash your car, you're definitely going to be happier, right? Because you're going to leave the car washed with a clean car. So either way, we're going to help get them in a good mood. Just approach every car. Understand that it is your money. Um, and, and what do you want out of life? What do you want out of your career? What do you want financially? Um, and we'll talk more about that. But hearing no is part of the deal, right? Hearing no is a realistic hurdle. Hearing no, like Rich alluded to, when you're awesome at this, you hear no 70% of the time. That's when you're awesome. When you're a, a natural born killer at selling membership, you're going to hear no 70% of the time. That can become daunting. Understand they don't hate you. They don't dislike you. They don't dislike the wash. They just weren't expecting someone to sell to them a lot of times. They came to the car wash thinking they were just going to get a car wash, not that they were going to get pitched to. That's okay. We'll get them next time. Cool. What else? Uh, you think about it. If you have a unique hurdle, reach out to me. I'll help. I really want to help. What are your goals? as I just sort of alluded to. What, without goals and a reason to add the extra effort, it's so much harder. I don't feel like doing this. All right, well, look, if you're one of the few people in the world that money doesn't matter to, well then do it for the car wash. Do it for that person who's gonna enjoy it, right? Do it for the owner who's giving you a job and he, who is also trying to do their best financially and by you and by themselves and by maybe anyone, any other shareholders in the car wash, all right? But you got to find out why. For me, working a second job was always about the new car I wanted. Um, now, any extra work I I would put in would be for my four-month-old son, right? That is my reason for reasons. It's the reason I work so hard. I really want him to grow up with the best of everything. Um, but have your reason, right? Maybe it's the cable bill. I hate the cable bill. Now, maybe it's the 27 little cable bills like Hulu and Netflix. Maybe those are the things you want to take care of. What if you never had to worry about that, that again? What if one or two weeks of selling membership each month paid for all that stuff? That'd be pretty cool, right? What if it were gas? What if it were the saving for vacation? Hey, honey, uh, I'll tell you what, we do this thing at work. We're selling memberships. I'm going to save every bit that I make on there towards our vacation each year, right? You know, a lot of money. We have guys selling, our Ignite guys sell over 100 memberships each each week. So that's 500 bucks every week, right? It's $2,000 a month. So are you going to sell hundred? I don't know. I don't know where you and your car wash are, but what I can tell you is that if you have the ability to count cars as they come in for every 10, you should sell at least one. If you're not reach out to me, Sean at everwash.com. Let's figure out together what's going on. 
where to find help. This is a great one. Bi-weekly webinars. Every other Tuesday. Today is September 13th, 2022. Uh, next week, which is the 20th, um, is our bi-weekly uh, new attendant training webinar. So it's for new people, or maybe there's some stuff maybe that you didn't get. Maybe you didn't get a great training or something, or you came aboard and you haven't had much training at all. Attend one of those 45-minute sessions. They're also available on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com backslash Everwash, or just go to YouTube and search Everwash, we've got a lot of great videos. It's probably where you found this video that you're watching right now. And number three is email me, sean at everwash.com, S-E-A-N at everwash.com. I really want to help. This is what I do. I, I help people reach their sales goals. That's my main goal in life, right? If you're not making money, we're not making money. If we're sending you 25 bucks every every two weeks into your work market account, no one's happy. We want you to be able to do some cool stuff and, and enjoy it. We want you to think of Everwash as, as a great supplemental income, right? A side hustle during your regular job. Most people don't get that. Most people have to drive an Uber at night uh, or any of those things. Your side hustle is in your job. You don't have to put any more hours in your side hustle. Your side hustle is during your regular hours, which is pretty cool. And I think that if you give it an opportunity and you really try and you hone your skills and you come to this monthly webinar, um, this monthly webinar you're watching right now, the advanced sales tactics, this is the deep dive stuff, the putting your tools in your tools belt, tool belt to help you sell better and be able to take that with you everywhere in your life, right? Maybe you'll be a salesperson in somewhere. Maybe it's just everything in life is negotiation, right? Well, I always say this, but when I'm trying to convince my wife to go where I want to go for vacation or for dinner, and that's a sale, right? I am I am pitching my my best, right? Um, I do not want to go to Cheesecake Factory. Please don't make that cheesecake. Anywhere but Cheesecake Factory. Uh, so that's my goal in life is not going there. What's yours, right? How are you going to use these sales tools? To help you uh, in your life. That's it. Very simple, right? What I really hope you got out of this is that you've got to know what success looks like to you. You've got to know with the wash owner what success looks like to them, right? I always say, what if they think you should be selling 10 a day, but you only had 50 cars? You should have sold at least five, right? But that's not 10, right? So let's make sure that our goals are aligned. Let's make sure that we know our goals and let's make sure that you understand what you want out of this, right? Maybe you don't want anything. Maybe it's just that the wash owner wants you to do this so that they can keep their business afloat. They can continue to be prosperous. They can add more people, buy more locations, whatever it is for them, right? Their kid can go to a nicer school, uh, whatever that is for them, right? Uh, wh where do you fit into that? Maybe they just want you to sell. I think that you will find that you can make money doing this, Okay. So please take advantage of those things. Check out some more videos on YouTube. Uh, so youtube.com backslash Everwash or just search Everwash in the search bar on YouTube. There are lots of videos to be seen. Um, we always keep them under an hour. Most like this one are in a 30 minute range. I thank you. Please reach out anytime. Sean at Everwash.com. Keep on selling, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll be here for you. Have a fantastic day.